in these quadratic expressions, there is a number in front of the x squared, which means that you won't be able to factorize them as simply as the normal quadratic equations. So what we have to do is you have to try and eliminate this number by dividing the whole expression by the number in front of the expression. In this case, my number is 2, so I'm going to try and divide this whole expression by 2. And if I do divide 2x squared by 2, I end up with x squared. 2x divided by 2 is just x, and minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2. I've, got ridden, I've gotten rid of this number here. Now it's a lot simpler. I can factorize easily. Now I have to factorize. I have two pairs of brackets and x in both pairs of brackets. Looking for two numbers that multiply to give minus 2 and add to give me 1. That's 2 and minus 1. So I just write plus 2 and minus 1. In this case, you won't be able to divide the whole expression by 2 and eliminate this because the other terms won't be divisible by 2. So we use a different technique here. I'm going to multiply, firstly, this number in front of the x squared by the number that's on its own. So, and I get 6. Then I'm looking for two numbers that when they multiply, they give me 6 but add to give me 5. And those two numbers are 2 and 3. Now, I using these two numbers, I replace 5x with 2x and 3x in my new line. So I, get, I end up with 2x squared plus 2x plus 3x. Now, this part has replaced the 5x plus 3. Then I factorize the first two terms, and then I factorize the second two terms separately. Fully factorizing the first two terms, I end up with 2x outside the bracket, then I end up with x plus 1 inside. And if I factorize this side, I end up with 3 outside, end up with x plus 1 outside. Now looking at this expression here, you can see that 2x is multiplying x plus 1, and 3 is multiplying x plus 1. So therefore, I can write that in more factorized form as 2x plus 3 multiplying x plus 1, and that's your solution. Have a go at these. Solutions will appear very shortly.